All right, Marshall Zhukov here during the daylight. Um, what we're going to do is run through some of the programming here on these P3 lights. And we can see some of it here. What I'm probably going to do, since I'm not worried about the uh, brake light programming, is already on the default setting, and I do like the default setting. I'm going to uh, go through 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12. Well, I do like how the brightness is right now. I don't think it'll be necessary to demonstrate 10 and 12, but for 7 and 8, we can see uh, what the emergency flasher settings look like on these. But, uh, well, maybe I guess we can adjust the uh, brightness settings well on these. <laughs> There's a slight delay while it programs, and then it'll begin blinking in the sequence selected. So that was seven flashes, medium repeating flash at two hertz. And the way to reprogram these is you turn the key off, and then back on. There's a five second window. There's the repeating, rapid repeating flash at 5 hertz. It is quite a bit brighter, uh, a little bit higher elevation. But when, you're, uh, when your vision is directly in line with the uh, brightness of the lights, it is quite bright. And we will reprogram for a quad flash. And that's just four quick strobes of both lights simultaneously. And then, in order to stop these uh, flasher settings, all you have to do is engage the brake. It'll go back to its regular setting. And it still maintains the default setting. So here with the uh, modulation setting, we counted 10 flashes, and that is, uh, you don't see the glimmer of these, it's just a steady on. You don't see that um, difference in the hertz settings with the naked eye. So that is the dimmer setting uh, of the brightness modes. I do like the brighter one, it gives you a little bit better ability to be seen. And there the brighter ones are back up. Still maintaining the default setting. So that's just a quick rundown of the programming for the P3 lights. Now when I was wiring these originally, initially, I wanted the, uh, I didn't want it to come on with the running lights. But in order to properly program, it has to be wired in such a way that it will come on with the programming lights. But I guess after doing it that way, the proper way so I could program it, because before, when it wasn't wired, as a suggest by the wiring diagram, it will not program properly. The instructions are quite easy. Easy to follow and they supply these uh, little connectors with, uh, with it too. These are the uh, wiring instructions for the, the P3 system that I got and I can if I want integrate these also to operate as turn signals. 
but they have these little cylindrical uh, connectors. I forget what they call them, but they're actually not too bad. So, as well, or as for the rest of the bike, see the uh, daytime light of these LED lights. It's visible. Certainly not quite as bright as uh, the tail lights, but uh, they'll definitely suffice. Just a little extra bit of visibility out there. And there's one thing that maybe it wasn't illustrated. I guess it was a little bit when I did it the other night, but um, we can see it wrap around. And these are blinking yellow. <clears throat> and then that middle section will come red when the uh, brake is engaged. It's kind of a jumble of wires behind the plate here and how I had to get them in underneath the uh, tail light there. I didn't want to drill holes in the saddlebags or the side of the fender or in these uh, blinker light housings so I opted to just have some Exposed wires, I guess, in a uh, sheath. So, I guess it's a little bit dirty, but we can take a look at the horn. So, it's, it's a Wolo air horn, and when I was installing it, I accidentally lost my grip and it slipped out of my hand. So, I don't know if that's why it gives it an inconsistent kind of a a wail when you engage the horn button. But it sounds like only one of the two uh, is working. And maybe it's just a, a weak kind of a draw just from the battery without the system being running and charging while it's running. But uh, it, is, it is a little bit louder when it is running. And both horns seem to give it the appropriate pitch as it would sound on the, uh, the website where I got it. On the demonstration they had. But I do like these uh, lights the P3 lights and as we can see here they are modulating slightly you can see that little bit of glimmer so I'll put a link in the description of where I got these uh, you guys can check them out there's been other people there's a few other videos on YouTube that uh, have motorcycles utilizing these lights so it's not uh, not hard. And then also on the guy's homepage, he's got a demonstration as well, um, going through all of the settings also. So for now, Marshall Zukov, sign out. Well.